Okay, uh, to determine holder in due course status, we talked about that in the individual, the, uh, the holder seeking to become a holder in due course uh, must pay value for the instrument. Well, what does this mean? Well, uh, this could be any form of money or assets paid for the instrument, but it could also be other forms of value. It could be providing service, uh, it could be the cancellation of an antecedent debt it can, or, or a prior existing debt that's already been performed, or it could be an uh, irrevocable obligation to provide value into the future. Okay, uh, But the key thing there is that it cannot be uh, future value, it cannot be contingent value, it cannot be a promise to uh, provide services in the future or to give, uh, provide goods in the future. It has to be some existing debt or value currently. So as we said, the uh, current or existing debt that you already owe the obligation on, release of that or relief of that uh, debt in exchange uh, for the instrument is a form of value because it exists at the time, either currently or in the past. But any future obligations, any that this is simply con a consideration as part of contract rights, uh, that is not current or present value.